Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, and we are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer. Jim, stocks uh, slightly up. What do you make of the temperature of the markets Warren right Buffett's now? Warren Buffett's birthday today. Warren Buffett, we speak with Becky Quick. Warren Buffett has been known to turn around the futures uh, <laughs> to the point where people regret that they uh, had a short going on, uh, whether it be in Apple, whether it be in the rails, because uh, whether it be in USG, US GIP, which is registered trademark, GIP, uh, GIPSON board, registered mm -hmm. trademark USG, uh, probably the most in demand in a situation where you have water damage. Uh, this is uh, a, a man who does substantial amount of uh, demolition in New Jersey, a man by the name uh, who runs a company called Suburban, Michael Haley, uh, who, who has uh, dealt with mold from, from mm. Sandy. The big impact will be mold. Now remember, because there was no there was no wind. Mm. Wind is the way you get the private insurers. Flooding is going to be the federal government. Let's stay close to that. It could be as much as a hundred billion in flooding. Huh. Now, in real money, Jim, you talk about how you expect a faster, more robust rebuild than Sandy. Explain yes, why. Yes, uh, uh, and I think that faster, more, because this is Texas. Mm. Uh, I think that it's a Republican administration. Uh, even the Republicans who are against uh, spend, I think, will cave mm. because uh, Texas is a state that gets its way. Mm. So if it's a faster rebuild, does that mean it's less of a distraction for tax reform? Um, no, I think that what happens is during the 12 days of September, uh, the debates will be about repeal and replace because I think that Paul Ryan has no uh, no desire to, to do what the president wants. Uh, could be about repatriation, which is the only thing I think could have a possibility. But repeal and replace will be back on the agenda because they can't help themselves. Uh, and that's um, when I speak of real news, of course, I favor the president's economic agenda. When I speak of fake news, I suggest that perhaps it won't be so easy to get through because you have to have a budget resolution and you have to have a debt ceiling. Uh, debt ceiling regarded as fake news by the president, but I have to point it out. I always like to, now these days I want to say fake and real right. because I'd like to be on the real uh, side of the president, but I also have to report some of the fake news too. Well, you are on the real side. Yeah, <laughs> and Jim, you mentioned repatriation. With that, we should watch shares of Cisco. Yes, uh, Cisco's not down after a very disappointing quarter. Siena will report very good data center numbers according to some research that I've read, which means that that's a uh, that's almost zero sum these days with Cisco. I, I, I remain concerned that Cisco's uh, tremendous turnaround is, is uh, a three or five year process. Hmm. All right, uh, speaking of the broader economy, GDP growth for the second quarter revised up to 3%. Why isn't the 10-year reacting more to this? Well, I think the 10-year also reacts to, uh, there's a lot of uh, fear there's a lot of uh, huddling that we could have a North Korean event. I think that um, the 10 years stalled because there won't be any uh, a repeal, you know, there won't right. be repeal replaced and there won't be any change in the tax code. So there's no big spend. Now I think the 10 years wrong. I think it can go up a little bit because I think the government is going to have to find a way to pay for this rebuild. I think it's not only agenda enough because it's still happening. But there, when, you, when the fourth largest city is flooded, remember New Orleans is not that big, fourth largest city is flooded and it's not a disenfranchised group. Uh, having been down to New Orleans where the people who were really hurt the most were very disenfranchised in this country, Texas is different. Texas has tremendous pull in the country, so the rebuild will be real and the budget will come under pressure because of the rebuild. All right, we talked about the 10-year, obviously big implications for the banks. We talked about Warren Buffett earlier, yeah, who I mean, is to now- Yeah, the banks can uh, lead a rally here if uh, if Becky Quick says, what do you think of uh, Bank of America? Yeah. I, I, request, I don't know what uh, Buffett is going to say about the board of Wells Fargo, mm -hmm. given the fact that they let a lot of this go on. Uh, it's questionable. And, and you guys own City for Action Learners Plus. Remind City us. City is the only one that uh, is trading at book value. Mm -hmm. So the more they buy, the higher the earnings. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about City. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on, United Technologies close to a deal to buy yeah, Rockwell. What's rather amazing here is, is that let's get this deal done. Greg Hayes has got to get the deal done. I think United Technology stock has been trading up in anticipation and will go up again. I think the most salient fact that I've seen, and I mentioned this a little bit in my Real Money piece, yes. but um, you, Gilead is up 10% mm. since they bought Kite. What does that say about acquisitions? It says, game on. Mm. There'll be many acquisitions when we come back after Labor Day. Ah, the floodgates are opening. Yes. But Jim, what does this deal potentially mean for Honeywell? I don't know. Rockwell Collins, Honeywell? No. No uh, implications? Honeywell, no. Okay. Um, also, Amazon's Alexa and Microsoft's Cortana are teaming up. What did you think well, of I that? Well, I think that what matters is, is that uh, Best Buy's endorsed um, Google. And uh, because Best Buy doesn't want to help Amazon, 
The long knives are out for Amazon wherever I look. Target switching uh, Amazon Web Services. Now, Amazon Web Services is the cheapest, and people don't want to do it. I had Viva Systems on last night, which is a lot of different verticals for the cloud, and the natural place for people to do business in the cloud is Amazon Web Services. Mm. Cheapest, most efficient. But be aware that because of Amazon's overstepping into the retail business mm -hmm. with Whole Foods, there are a lot of companies that are pulling back and reassessing working with Amazon Web Services. Yeah, so do you think Walmart is watching this and they're not too happy that they're linking up Microsoft? Well, no, Walmart isn't happy. They're already telling people, don't, if you really want to do business with us, don't do business on Amazon Web Services. Totally. All right, meanwhile, Jim, on Stop Trading on Squawk in the Street, you talked about Universal Display. Yeah, OLED, uh, this Deutsche Bank piece basically says that they've got Samsung, they've got the Chinese, and perhaps they have Apple. There's a heavily shorted stock. Uh, people, when I mention positive, people hate me uh, for, uh, but that's because they're short, and because Twitter, you don't have to identify that you're short. It just looks like they say, well, Kramer doesn't know what he's talking about. Deutsche Bank is the people you're arguing with, you're not Kramer. Uh, <laughs> you also talked about Kevin Durant, some incredibly harsh comments for yeah, Under, Under Armour. Armour. Uh, you know, he says people don't wear Under Armour, even in, it insinuates that University of Maryland, which is the Planck's home base, doesn't wear Under Armour. This is the kind of internecine war that tells me that the expensive sneaker is going the way of um, the small screen TV. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't like it. Any implications for Kohl's, which of course carries Under Armour? No, no um, Kohl's is doing pretty well. I, I thought that quarter was good. Uh, Under Armour being in Kohl's has hurt finish line and Foot Locker. Totally. All right, Jim, let's also talk about earnings to watch. We have Lululemon. Obviously, we're hoping it's not like a Foot Locker. Uh, I think Lululemon could have a good quarter. Um, I think Lululemon's fashion. Uh, the, the fashion plays have done pretty well. I think that they've managed to make a, accelerate fashion, which is what you have to do. That's what Ralph Lauren's all working on. Everyone's working about how to get the fashion right, and if it's wrong, just quickly change. Uh, I think Lulu could be okay. I think Lulu could be okay. Now, what happens with Lulu is this is often forced down by bears, and then uh, people come out and say, listen, uh, you know, let's look through this thing. Maybe it's not as bad. So Lulu is a, what I call a football stock. It's often influenced by shorts, uh, and then the real story comes out. So. Don't uh, make the first move, Lulu. All right, and the last earnings to watch on my list was Campbell's Soup, they're reporting. Yeah, I mean, Campbell's Soup, I know uh, uh, Dougie Cass has got some interesting things about Real Money Pro about Campbell's Soup. Uh, the Durant's family seems to be reluctant to sell. Um, it, it, you know, Campbell's is one of those situations, uh, like a lot of these companies, if, if Kraft Heinz doesn't buy them, they're overvalued given the fact that my daughter did an extensive price check for me, uh, Whole Foods versus Kings yesterday. I just said, listen, That's I want cool. prices checked out. Uh, and and uh, Whole Foods came in dramatically under. Wow. Yeah, dramatically under. All right, Jim, before we let you go, forget the stock market tonight. It's a big night for fantasy yeah, football. Yeah, you know, these, uh, <laughs> tonight the slump and Dicka League is open for business, and uh, everyone knows who's followed uh, our videos over the year, the years that uh, I am uh, the Ski Daddy Skis. And the ski, da the ski Daddy's draft fifth, obviously I can't say on this who I would pick because then that would, uh, the Slump and Dickle League watches all my videos. But <laughs> it, we're on the ESPN uh, app. Uh, it is an incredibly important night. Um, a lot of people feel it's the most exciting night of the year. Uh, I've got a desk that I will do a selfie and show on Twitter <laughs> that is really a war room. Um, I am praying that my friend Adam Schefter can weigh in with me. In the meantime, I've been watching Adam Schefter's daughter do some unbelievable interviewing of the New England Patriots. She's a star. Uh, Adam, I hope you listen to that so that maybe you'll help me when we get to the middle rounds because uh, I have done a video with Adam on ESPN which is about the notion I favor drafting quarterbacks higher and defenses higher. That is considered to be sacrilege for the people who really know. Matthew Burry has also said that same thing. These are people who must, if you're in fantasy, Matthew Burry, Adam Schefter, don't forget Roto World, okay, Evan Silva, and don't forget John Hansen, fantasy guru, who has great up-to-date stuff. Uh, fantasy Guru being an amazing publication. All right, Jim, we're going to follow this journey along right with you. Oh, yeah, I you. mean, look, uh, <laughs> fantasy, I know a lot of people who are interested in stocks follow fantasy, uh, and the draft is, I've used many times, 
to be a kind of a simulated stock draft and you do the same thing. Let's not forget Apple breaking out here. It does matter tremendously. NVIDIA, if you listen to the Best Buy call, the Switch is the hottest product that's powered by NVIDIA. That's an actionalertsplus.com name. Don't forget, if you think that Apple's good then, uh, and the launch is good, then Broadcom is the company that has the most intellectual property and they're also the one that has uh, best 5G. Understand that Broadcom has been heavily under assault by both shorts and longs. The longs feeling that perhaps the uh, lack of a guide up by Hawk Tan signals the end of the Broadcom run. I think Hawk Tan is smarter than that, uh, but no one's better than Jensen Wong, who is an NVIDIA. NVIDIA. And don't forget, my dog answers to Two. the name NVIDIA. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Chevron, too, for your other dog. That's the other dog. I pictured both of them. Chevron was very forlorn uh, because I do feel that West Texas Intermediate is going to trade down to 42. Carly Garner, new price target, yes. maybe even as low as 38. Uh, I have up-to-date information on all of, uh, of Katrina. So let's get here this. This is as of this morning. Uh, the Eagleford. Uh, okay. Corpus Christi was basically shut down by flooding and excess water. Uh, crude has been off the market. Uh, it, it does need to be sold or stored. Uh, unknown how long that situation will be. Permian crude, this is Rusty Brazil really helping me. Permian crude has continued to flow. That is being, uh, there's no place to put that stuff, which is one of the reasons why WTI is coming down. Mm -hmm. Refiners will be back online earlier than people think. Corpus refineries apparently suffered little damage, even though there was tremendous rain. Exports of crude are totally shut off. Again, that's why WTI is going to come down. Water's receding in, in uh, Houston, uh, so we don't really know the impact of Harvey. Now, I also have up-to-date information on the insurers as of about 8 o'clock. The reinsurers are uh, not even coming into play because there was no win. So the all states and travelers that have come down, you want to buy them back. Um, the federal government is the only hope for, for uh, people who have bad flooding because the insurers are simply saying, this is not a windstorm, we can't help you. So that's up to date on the reinsurers, up to date on the insurers, up to date on the refineries, and up to date on the oil. And all that is a scoop for those of us who, those of you who are watching this video. Well, it's great information and you heard it right here, everyone. One last thing, um, the futures, the morning futures, once again, I have to chide these people as being idiots, it's okay. It's, there's nothing wrong with calling to out to be, people to be idiots. And the reason I say that is if you read Confessions of a, of a Street Addict, mm. you'll see something idiotic that I did before market. So if I'm willing to, to say and admit in Confessions of a Street Addict something idiotic, idiotic, I can certainly call these people out as well, idiotic. This is how we all learn. So, yes, exactly. Jim Kramer, thank you well, so much course. as always. Of course. Great information. All right, for more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.